We're going to perform a 250 and a 500 hour service on a skid steer. It don't make a difference between track or wheel skid steer. Basically on a 250 hour service, we strongly recommend check your oils before you start. We would like warm oil. We prefer if you could run them for approximately 20 minutes to let that oil get to an operating temperature. Um, we strongly recommend that you get an oil sample bottle from your CAD dealer. It gives you any, if you see any failures with that engine, it'll show up in the oil sample. When we come up to this machine, and we want to do a 250 hour, be careful, the machine is warm. We lift up the radiator itself. We've done the prevent, we've checked over, did a good visual inspection previous to this. We want to, on a 250 hour, we're going to basically change fuel filters and water separator, engine oil and filter, and both inner and outer filters for the air system. So it's basically this, about the same as anything else you've ever worked on. You've got an excess panel up underneath the, the engine compartment. You can take out, there's two bolts. Take the one bolt out, loosen the other one, turn the bottom guard, give it 180. Gives you visual to what you gotta drain the oil system with. When you do, you've got to get the excess from up underneath to loosen the oil pan itself, plug. Be careful, the oil is warm. We recommend um, wearing gloves, some kind of protection because the oil is going to be warm. Once you get the oil running, we strongly suggest do an oil sample. It will save you a lot of money on um, long time or expensive uh, maintenance on it. So when you do that, you got the oil draining. 90% of your kit on your skid steers, we're coming out with a program that will be out very shortly. You'll be able to order one number to do a complete 250 SMU. It will consist of all your oil, air, fuel, everything that you'll need. If you want to do a 500 hour service, which um, it only consists of one extra filter is your hydraulic filter right here. On some models, on the C-Series, it's on the engine door. On the, on the older style, the B-Series, the A-Series, some of your larger ones, the hydraulic filter is up on top back here. You gotta be really careful. You gotta reach in there a long ways. Make sure the engine, make that the last thing you do. Make sure the engine's nice and cool. We, we use uh, an absorbent rag that we put over top the engine to keep any spillage down so you don't have to clean up later. Remove that. But on the service itself, when you get the oils drained out of the engine, you get the filter off. When you pull the filter off, always do a visual inspection on that filter. The reason is you got a rubber gasket on there. Sometimes it'll stick to the base of the oil filter base. <coughs> Make sure that comes off with a filter. Because if you don't, and you screw the new filter back on there, you will have a large major oil spill. So it's very crucial that you do Take a look at that. Just when you take it off, just look at the filter, say, oh, okay, it's on there, dispose of it. Put your new filter on, screw it hand tight, then with a wrench, give it a quarter turn. You're good. Put your drain plug in after it's done draining. Once it's done draining, um, if you look in your operation maintenance book or you buy, we prefer you to buy our oil filters anyways. They're designed for this machine. When you buy this package that we're going to introduce here very shortly, it'll give you the amount of oil and all the right filters that you need. Once you've done that, make sure when you pull your fill cap off of this machine, some are located on the side, some are on top. Always make sure the dirt has been cleaned out around the cap. You don't want no debris in there. Once you have, you put the right amount of oil in the machine. Um, put the cap back on. Then, once you've got the oil done, never leave what you've done. Don't go to do something else. Always make sure that oil's put back in that machine and that drain plug is tight. 
because it caused catastrophic failures big time. So when we go to the fuel system, always walk up. On some models, the newer models, they might have a cap on there. This is a vented cap. But sometimes these will get plugged full of dirt. You'll build vacuum on this fuel system. Just reach up and it just released right there, just from the climate change, from being outside, being in a warm building. Just loosen, you don't have to take it off. Put it back on, put your padlock back on it. Then you want to service the fuel filter. It's very simple. When you do it, this is a two-piece filter system. This bottom part is a water separator. I generally loosen it first before I take it off, just a little bit. Then this top piece is just plastic. This one's a little tough to get into, but most of them are. You turn this off, it'll unscrew. You can pull the filter down itself. When you pull it down, I would suggest you put some rags down here to catch any loose fuel that comes out. When you always, it's very crucial, when you're filling these filters back up, you've got an empty filter. Once you've getting this thing down, you screw this off. Be careful, there's an O-ring underneath here. Make sure that stays with it. Make sure all your debris is out of here. You need to fill this filter, but strongly, you've got to have clean fuel. If you're in doubt that it's, there's any contamination in that fuel, you cannot use it. Once we've topped all this stuff off, we're gonna get in the machine, we're gonna start the machine. When you start the machine up, you're gonna have an indicator light comes on because we've drained the oil out of the filter and out of the pan, we filled the pan. We did not fill the oil filter itself. Start it up, always make sure it's at an idle. When you get started up, it only takes within probably 30 seconds, the light will go out. You know all your oil capacities has been filled. So shut the machine off, come back out, take a look at it, make sure you didn't have a, something leaking out of your filter, whatever. Make sure your drain plug's tight. Recheck your engine dipstick. Wipe it off. Insert it back in. Let it set for a minute. Pull it back out. Make sure you're up to the full line. Do not overfill it. That's very bad. So once you got your oil levels up, do a good inspection. We've had the air cleaners out of the machine. What we strong, what we do here at the dealership, so everybody can see it, and down the road is, mark the hours and the date that you service this machine. On your oil filter, put the hours of the machine on there and the date. You know, six months, eight months later, you, oh, what we need to do is service, let's do it. We write it on the filter itself, we put the hours and the date on there. And for when you're going through a lot of air fillers when it's really dusty, you can keep that. Some customers, they'll mark them for the first time. We don't really recommend much over two times. So it's a good way to keep an eye on it. It's a good maintenance program. Once them are replaced, we're good. We locked it in position. Our coolant, make sure your coolant's good. Comes fall time, you want at least 25 below zero. Once that's done, we're in good shape. Um, if you want to perform a 500 hour service on this machine, the only thing you've got to do is change the hydraulic filter. And all these hydraulic fillers for all these machines are the same. One filter only. In our kit, we'll provide you with all the 250 hour services, parts and oil, if you want to do a 500 hour service, we'll just give you a hydraulic filler. And if you want, depending on your oil capacity, how your tank site is, you might want to buy a gallon oil, depending on what you're at. They only hold approximately two quarts. It's not that much. But this here, there's no pressure when you release it. It's a little messy, but once you take it off, you don't have to fill it. Just put it on. When you start the machine, let it idle. You might hear a little noise from the hydraulic system. It will not hurt nothing. Just let it set for just a few minutes running. That noise will go away. Everything's back up to normal. 
on your fuel system. <coughs> it's very important. This is, like I told you earlier, it is a vented system. If this cap does not vent, what oil, what fuel oil, when this machine's running, it can only burn so much fuel at one time. If this filter plug, if this cap is plugged, it builds pressure in the fuel tank itself. It will cause the machine to run bad. You will get bad fuel efficiency and performance. So it is very crucial. So occasionally, you may have to wash this out. You'll see on the bottom of this, there's a little breather down inside here. Just to kind of take a look at it. Maybe clean it up every once in a while. You know how we spill the stuff and it gets dirty. Well, when you're done, insert it back on there. Just turn it, lock it down. You'll feel it reset down inside. Lock it. You've got a good running fuel system. If you're in doubt, call the dealer. Ask them. It's simple, it's fast, and you'll get the answer you need.